This is a model of the San Francisco Bay watershed. The gray clay marks the borders between land and water or represents the coastline. We have three different main bodies, types of water and bodies of water in this model. Over here, we have two rivers. In the south, we have the San Joaquin River. In the north, we have the Sacramento River, and they come together to form a delta. In the center, we have the San Francisco and San Pablo Bays. And then over here on the left, we have the Pacific Ocean. And in this watershed, there's many different types of water. From the rivers or the delta, you have clear, fresh water. This is, comes from snowmelt and from rainwater, and it comes down through the rivers and heads towards the bay. Over here, on the other hand, you have dark blue salty water, which comes from the Pacific Ocean. I'm going to pour the salty blue water in the Pacific Ocean, and I'm going to rain the fresh water through this cup with holes, which represents my cloud, over the delta. Observe closely what happens to the two types of water, where they meet and how they interact. I'm going to place a finger in the middle of the model because it was bulging upward a little bit. You'll observe that the fresh clear water from the delta flo flowed into the bay and also that the salt water from the ocean flowed into the bay underneath this Golden Gate Bridge. What we have here in the middle is a beautiful tie-dye, light blue color, which is a type of water called brackish water. This is fresh and salt water mixing. That's a type of water called brackish water. And when you have fresh and salt water mixing here, you have a special environment called an estuary. An estuary is a partially enclosed body of water where salt and fresh water mix. And it's partially enclosed because it has this outlet point into the Pacific Ocean. So the San Francisco Bay is an estuary. It's where salt and fresh water mix. And the amount of salt and fresh water in the bay changes. You'll notice that if a wind comes by, the mixing of the salt and fresh water changes. The tides can also change the amount of fresh and salt water in the bay. And also the seasons can change the amount of fresh and salt water. In rainy seasons, you'll often have more fresh water entering the bay from the delta. So this creates a really special habitat in our San Francisco Bay watershed. You have animals that can only live in salty water, like octopi, who live in the ocean. You have animals who are only adapted to live in fresh water, like certain fish, and they'll live in the delta or by the rivers. But then you also have unique animals, like this little harbor seal, that can live in brackish water and they can live in the bay. So you have unique different habitats for different animals. And as you notice, all the water is connected. Water from the salty dark blue ocean is connected to the water, the brackish water in the bay, as well as to the fresh water in the delta. 